Hi, thank you for joining me on learning how to clean up your animation drawings. So first, let's take a look at the kind of equipment we need to do animation cleanup. I have here my animation desk, I have an animation disc in the center, and it's just backlit. That is ideal for doing animation cleanup. Now, if you're on a budget or you're a student, you can go down to your local craft store, pick up this light box for about $50, and you can go online and pick up this round peg bar for about $5. Now I use Animation Bond like this. It's pretty expensive. It runs about $30 to $40 per ream. So again, if you're on a budget, you can use standard copy paper and three hole punch and this round peg bar and they'll work great together. So now let's put our drawings down on our peg bar and let's take a look. All right, this is a fairly typical animation rough drawing. It's very sketchy. We've got lines that are kind of going on top of each other, making the drawing very muddied. So it's hard to tell once we get down to in-betweening where these lines are coming from and where they're going to go. So essentially, we are going to trace this drawing with very precise lines so that way it helps us for the in-betweening process. So let's get started with that. We're gonna take our blank sheet, place it right over the top of this on our peg bar. And the first things you wanna do is make sure to write down the drawing number. So if we drop our drawings, we know what in sequence this drawing goes. And we also wanna copy this little chart up here in the corner called the timing chart. Now you don't have to trace it exactly, but you wanna make sure to keep it accurate to the original so that way we know down the line how we're gonna use this chart. Now I'll talk more about timing charts in the how to animate your animation drawings um, in a later video, but right now let's talk about how to do cleanup. Now, the very specific, very specific technique that you're gonna use for animation cleanup is keeping your pencil sharp. You can use a number two pencil or a mechanical pencil like I like to use, but keeping it sharp is key. So for my mechanical pencil, I have my scrap sheet here and I'll scribble and turn my pencil in order to kind of get a nice point on my lead. And once you have that, then we can head into doing our animation cleanup. Now looking at this drawing, we wanna use the natural mechanics of our wrist to do these lines. We can use our fingers, but those are very fine muscles and it's harder to control rather than just the mechanics of moving our wrist. So let's get in here and we're gonna use that wrist action and we're gonna make short and confident bursts. You're gonna wanna make sure to taper your line so that way the edges are very thin and the middle is very thick. And they're gonna to string together to make it look like a long, continuous, cleaned up line. Now you'll notice that as we get to this section, we're gonna hit up kind of line that goes against our natural arc of our wrist. So this is why animators work on a disc. We can turn and then continue to use that wrist action. It's very convenient. Now you can do this on your light box at home. You can still turn your drawings on your animation peg bar and make that wrist action work. Now, once you've hit all parts of the drawing, you'll have a nice cleaned up drawing with very clean lines and you'll be ready to move on to your next cleanup drawing. So thank you for joining me on learning how to do animation cleanup. Um, if you'd like to learn how to do animation in-betweening, that'll be in the next video.